Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mal, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can connect our sorting line machine with our PLC N2.1 deep pack. So, let's go to the presentation. So, the idea is to get familiar with the wiring and how we can connect our PLC models to the uh, PCB that we have. So, if we pay attention now in here, da, da, da. we can see it on the PCB. Okay, in front of the PCB, we have two different ways to connect. Basically, we have this connector of 34 pins, and we have also these terminals. Okay, so we have two different ways to connect with our controller. Okay. So this is how we can communicate to a different device. Now, depending on the way that we're going to use, okay, there are different ways to connect. So in my case, I'm using this one, okay, the flat remote cable. So I can easily remove everything just one time. Uh, otherwise, you can use the terminal in front of the, the PCB so you can connect the inputs and outputs and power supply in there, okay? Um, in case you're using this one, it's just a flat remote cable of 34 pins. And this is the distribution inside this part. Okay, not the cable in the PCB is this one over here. In case you want to see it. So, for example, in my case, I have the connection over here. So, so I have this flat remote cable over here. And it just needs to be connected over here. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So for me, it's much easier this way. So I can remove and have everything uh, not in the same place fixed. Okay. But in your case, you can do it as you please. So. Let's continue with this part. So, once you have defined how you're going to communicate, it is important to get familiar with the different pins that we have. So, as you saw over here, we have different pins, and some of them are not used. So, the first four pins that we have are our power supply, and we need to provide power to this. Uh, to this machine okay so if you're using all the demo kit for the EA or the eco structure automation expert then you have this power supply that you see over here okay and you just need to use you, you will need to see how are you going to distribute the power but just to let you know that you will need to energize the unit using the two first pins okay for 24 24 volts DC and this one is the zero volts okay so just to just to let you know now now that we know that the four pins are the port of supply let's identify the digital inputs so on the digital inputs we have the pins five six seven for the first part that we saw at the beginning the last video and then we have nine ten eleven and twelve for the rest okay as you can see there is a small gap okay between the seven and nine so something there are not meant to use so this is an example how you can connect let me just hide myself it would depend on the digital input card and the analog input card that you have okay because the color sensor is an analog input for our plc so if you're using analog input module on the controller Remember that you need to energize the module, okay? And then on the analog input channel, the uh, minus part should be to zero volts of our power supply. And the output in this case is the number nine, should be connected to the plus part of the model. Then for the digital input side, it would depend also in the reference that you have for the model, but basically, the common should be connected also to the zero volts DC or power supply. And then you just connect the, um, 
the pins, these pins over here, to the digital input assigned. If you take a look here, I already predefined some of them. So the pin 5 should go to the digital input 1, 6 to the I2, 7 to the I3, 10 to the I5, I6, and I7, as you can see over here. So it's going to be much easier for us to, uh, to follow them in the program and everything. Okay. So this is just an idea how you should make the connections. Okay. To make everything work. This is for the digital inputs and analog, analog inputs for our PLC. Now, if we go to the digital outputs, as you can see here, we start from the pin 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, and there is a small gap over here. The 19 is not used. So you need to be careful in that part. So this one over here is not used. Okay. So how we can make the connection in our PLC model. Okay. That will depend also in the model that you have. But for example, in my case, I have this model of eight inputs, uh, eight outputs, and they have different commons. So the common must be go to the 24 volt DC. And then all the pin terminals that we have over here should go to the respected uh, output of the controller. You can see Q1 is the motor conveyor belt, Q2 compressor, Q3 battery ejector for white, this one for the red, and this one for the blue. So everything that you have in here is to make the connection of each of the devices. So now that you know the different pins, okay, it's time for you to connect the TM3 models to the sorting line. Okay, so in my case, let me just show you quickly. So I have the ribbon cable over here connected here. There is a autom there is a link between the pins terminal of the PCB with this terminal over here at the bottom. So you can use need either the ribbon cable or the terminals in the front. Now once you have this, it is time to this part. It's time to connect to the PLC. So in my case, I have this, oops, the PLC. I have the analog input. Analog input, I usually see only one channel. Then I have a digital input card, okay, 16 input card, okay, 16 input cards. And then I have the outputs. What I have different in my case is that I'm using this so I can connect the remote cables, some of the remote cables over there. Okay. Just put it over there, as you see. And then the outputs are using some relay just to verify their reading information. It's going to be much easier for me to send the data. That is the only different things, different thing over here. So just put this over here. And go back to sit. So just a quick look for the different sensors, the inputs, pin outputs, power supply, okay, the first four, and then the digital inputs. Okay, pay attention on the analog input. Don't forget to use the, the minus over here connected to the zero volt. This one, okay, connect to the zero volts our power supply. Don't forget about that and pay attention on the pins. The same, pay attention of the output pin. So you don't connect something that it shouldn't be going. So this is it for how to make the wiring between the certain line with our PLC models. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.